Well, hello there, fellow modelers. Everybody's been asking for a video update of the layout and things going on, so I finally broke down and did one. So let's show the progress here. I finally got my deck built from, from the house to the train shed, train station, whatever you want to call it. Finally got that done this week. And then I got the uh, screen porch here. So that way we can sit out here and we can discuss operation plans or trains or whatever we want to do before we actually move into the layout. So let's go take a look. Let's go in. Well, welcome to my railroad. And what I've done so far, started on this, I guess, in January of this year, and and uh, I still like mainly this center section here and part of this over here. So we'll just start here. I'll kind of explain what everything is. So um, this is the Illinois Central slash Canadian National. This is the main line here that comes in. Uh, it's not a true main line. It is a secondary main line off of a major main line and then this here would be an interchange with uh, some other railroad Union Pacific CSX I had this added whatever and so this is my yard here and it runs down through here this these are the micro engineering ladder track switch system which works really good because it, it optimizes your your yard space rather than drawing it out it, it tightens it up and it does a very good job uh, anybody that's looking to do that and here this is uh, the engine facilities that I uh, currently have here and some uh, power that I've got to weather and get get done up and this will be uh, kind of the back shop for the locomotives and things this here is a uh, actually so the railroad is the Tennessee Western Railway Authority TWRA <laughs> For those that know, that also stands for the Tennessee um, Wildlife Resources Agency. So, <laughs> But anyway, it's, it's a, a regional railroad that was spun off from Illinois Central who wanted to abandon the line. So this is uh, one of our locomotives that we, we acquired from Union Pacific, and it's a former Cotton Belt GP60. And you can see it's, it's seen its better days, but it does provide the Tennessee Western with some, some great power. And... This is a, just a little maintenance facility for that the uh, IC has here with uh, these shops and, and things like that. Uh, and on and on. Then we have, this was brought over from uh, St. Louis when I, when I had the, the, the railroad set up there. This is one of the sections that I was able to bring over and put in place. So this one was built there and I worked it in. I, I, unfortunately, I couldn't work several of them in. I just had to pick and choose which ones I wanted. So this is the scene that uh, I came up with there. And here, this line goes straight off. That is the only central line out. Uh, and this right here is the switch which goes to the branch of the Tennessee Western. They do have trackage rights from this point up to the yard to interchange cars, drop off, pick up, and, and come back. So uh, this comes out through here. This is some of my newest buildings, um, the Walters Lumber Facility, and this is one of their new uh, houses that uh, they offer as well. So it's in a, I repainted it because the color wasn't that great. So my city is here working on the downturn area. All this, which is an area that is hard to reach will be the downtown area. I will put this on plexiglass like that and set it in place. So I'm not trying to lean over there and do a bunch of work. And it's not something that you're going to be working with um, on an everyday basis. So all my track is pretty much accessible from the walkways. So we go down here and we have a, um, a 90 degree here. <coughs> Excuse me. This was a, uh, a model of the uh, Union City uh, it was the uh, passenger depot that's here in the, the city where I live. 
and it was shared between the NC and St. L and the uh, Mobile and Ohio. And uh, so I actually built that with some friends. Uh, gosh, I was probably 12 or 13 years old. Uh, but it is scratch built and um, I resurrected it and I'm keeping it on my layout. It does need a little bit of touch up work, but um, that's, that's on my to-do list anyhow. So continue, let's continue down this side. I do have like a little interchange track here to interchange. Even though it is all one railroad, it kind of gives the illusion that it's two different railroads crossing and then they have an interchange. So being that West Tennessee is mainly uh, agricultural with um, corn, soybean, cotton. So the main uh, industry uh, on this line is going to be grain. I'll probably at some point replace this here with some... Um, I want to get the uh, Iowa scaled engineering actual grain bins and, and, and do like what we see around here because we typically don't see this type of uh, these t type of structures here. So, all right. So this is a uh, this is all the interchange for that. And down here, this is uh, my plastic factory. This is Plastec. Actually, there was a Plastec in Kenton, Tennessee. So that's kind of where I got the idea and uh, mixed and matches a couple kits to make this where we drop off plastic pellets and they make uh, assorted uh, plastic things so that's the way that works and so we come around all the way around on this side here i'm going to turn this radio down okay and this is a five foot section and i've got it divided with this this wall to create two different scenes so this is the main company that went to bat for the railroad and approached the governmental agencies because this company right here relies strictly on the rail service if this was uh if this was abandoned this company would be out of business and this is my uh, tank cleaning company so they take in tank cars clean them send them back out and uh this was the main industry that that kept this alive also going down, this is the new kit from Walther's. It is called their chocolate factory, but uh, this will not be a chocolate factory. It will be some sort of frozen food manufacturing facility. And I just haven't picked out the name for it yet, but I'll come up with something on it. And then we're back down to where this interchange track was and the 90 degree crossing. Here we have uh, just a little warehouse thing where uh, uh, they make uh, whatever um, this BTR that's my son's initials he bought that for me one year for Christmas and I kind of named it after him so he's kind of into computers so I figured BTR, BTR technologies would be something good and coming on down shopping center I gotta have a water burger and this will be my uh, farm scene here working on that road will go on out and um, this is probably some of my newest scenery area here where um, I've still got a bunch of trees to plant. Oh my goodness, I got a bunch of trees. Um, kind of a little swampy area there and then kind of drains drains down into here and off, uh, off the layout. Of course, I got my deer. Thanks, Bernard, mini prints. There's a lot of mini prints on here. Lots of them. Yeah, my cranes. And if you look, there's probably an occasional snake out here somewhere. You just have to find it. This was another section that was saved from, from my previous layout. This section was actually built in, in Arkansas. And I modeled this after a cut north of Nashville uh, around Ridgetop, Tennessee. Uh, that was a place I like to go rail fan. And it's kind of an S-curve through the uh, rock cut. And, and I decided to model that. So a little bit different scenery technique here. I'm going to try to work on this and, and blend it up. A, a little bit better it just needs a needs a revamping and my uh, abandoned house that's sitting over there and uh, my water 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 plant and then we come down through here road crossing I gotta get my signals up once I find them and um, over here we have a uh, wood processing uh, facility uh, putting wood pallets of wood together and here's some of the area I'm currently working on, working on getting this uh, 
road bed done here, the scenery and, and things like that. So this, this is a section that I have not completed and currently where I am um, working at. So, all right, and we come down here and uh, this is the Tennessee Western Yard. And this is where basically it all ends. So yes, this is a point to point operation. I'm working on doing operations so that we would be able to have like three different sets of two operators on here. So this is the uh, basically interchange. I got to set where I can run around my trains. This is the car shop where we repair our cars. And this down here is the engine engine facility that I currently have. And some of the power, this is the latest one we've required. It is a uh, Union Pacific uh, GP15 and it will be relettered for the uh, Tennessee Western here soon. And of course, we're still hanging on to a leaser just in case. And our little switcher that, that uh, basically it works the, um, uh, a lot of the, the tank farm and things like that if they've got something small to do. And, and we got a couple of junkers back there that we're using for parts. And this is gonna be part of my passenger train. I'm gonna run a little excursion train. I currently have an order, the GE 44 Tonner. And I'm excited about getting that and, and seeing how that works. I'm gonna get a couple passenger cars and set up with that. And uh, of course, there's a little dark spot you see here. I don't know if you can tell, but we had rain a couple days ago and I've still got a lot of water, water, water puddles uh, hanging around. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much the layout and that's, that's where we're at there. Um, so what's on the workbench? A whole bunch of junk. <laughs> So, you know, I start one project and I stop and start working on another one. Um, this is my Paducah GP11 that I'm currently working on putting handrails on. Um, I'm having to bend my own handrails out of brass wire and, and put them on. So, you know how fun that is. And I can only take so much of that. And I am um, currently going to try to model this car here. Uh, this is the one of the new Walther's cars. So, I faded it out. I got to weather it. Um, I got my new decals. As you can see, those are no longer black or brown or whatever. So <laughs> William Billinger uh, was able to print me some new decals that I'll be able to put on this car and make it appear a little more accurate. So, and of course I'm doing a new Tennessee Western grain car. So I've got the first coat of car, I got the paint on it, the green, the green on it. Now I have to stripe it up and letter it and that'll be that. So. Anyways, that's currently what I have going on here in, in my shop. I, I know it's been a long time since since I did a video, and it's been crazy between work and everything. So I uh, wanted to. I promised people I would get one out. I've had people asking, you know, well, hey, when's your next video? Or when's your update? I want to see what you've done in your layout. So now you know, and uh, that's that. Oh, and by the way, if you must have you really want a tennessee western railway shirt cap whatever yells my graphics you can look it up the logo's there denny would be glad to screen print or uh, uh embroidery you one sorry denny didn't mean to say screen print i know i know better so he'll be glad to embroider you one up and and get you one out the door and i'd be thrilled if you had a tennessee western shirt so until then, everybody have a good fall, happy Thanksgiving, and I'll try to get another one out here before the end of the year. So long.